It's quarterback Tom Brady will be playing in his ninth Super Bowl on Sunday. He's won five so far. And Tina Savasio shows us why Brady's success and longevity may have more to do with his mental state than his body. I'm very confident in my routine, and, you know, I feel great this time of year. I got, you know, nothing I'm dealing with, and it's, it's part of it is just being in a good place mentally and physically. 41-year-old Tom Brady seems to defy age and says he wants to play football until he's 45. The five-time Super Bowl champion credits his longevity to the TV12 method. But it's not just about eating avocados and extensive stretching. It includes increasing your brain capacity. Just about everyone can benefit from having a faster, more accurate brain. But Tom Brady and people who are peak performers like that uh, can, uh, can benefit by taking their performance to the absolutely astronomical heights. Dr. Henry Manka is part of a global team of brain scientists who developed Brain HQ for TV12 Sports. Brain HQ is a set of software-based brain training exercises that are specifically built on the principles of brain plasticity. And what I mean by brain plasticity is the observation that the brain can change and rewire itself. Once you understand the science behind these brain exercises, you realize it is not fun and games. And you could do the exact same cognitive training as Tom Brady himself by going to tb12.brainhq.com. One of the exercises that Tom does is specifically designed to improve what's called your useful field of view, how much of the visual scene you can take in with a single glance. Brady started doing Brain HQ in 2014 and made it a core part of his training. Since then, he has led the Patriots to four of the last five Super Bowls. And by making his brain faster that way so he can take in information from his whole visual field, of course, he's a faster and better quarterback. According to Dr. Manka, many players and teams use neuroscience for peak performance, but it's Brady who has shared his cognitive training with the world, suggesting everyone should make brain fitness part of their wellness goals. On the Upper East Side, Tina Servasio, Fox 5 News.